Today on Clubhouse Cast, we're joined by head high school basketball coach Chuck Melito, who also used to coach at the collegiate level, and he's going to talk to us about one of the most basic yet most important aspects of basketball, and that is shooting free throws. So stay tuned. It's another great edition of Clubhouse Gas. Bank, you heard me call Bank, didn't you? Today we're going to talk, we're going to work on shooting a free throw, okay? So what we want to do is we want to work on our approach, what we feel is the mental approach, okay, as well as the physical approach, okay? What I need you to do is step up first. All right, since you're a right-handed shooter, what I'd like you to do is place your right foot in the center of the basket. Okay, we've got to get balanced, okay? I want you to have balance first. All right, next thing is our preparation with the ball. Once you receive the ball from the official, Okay, what we want you to do is you're going to go ahead, get the ball in your hands, not even look at the rim at this point. What I want you to do is to clear your head because right now this is a shot that you should be able to shoot in every gym that we go into, whether we be on the road, here at home, we go to a neutral floor. What we want you to be able to do is to see what you're seeing every day in practice. Okay, so to eliminate situation, crowd noise, what we're going to ask you to do is you're going to bounce the ball three times. And when you bounce the ball, you're going to say bounce, bounce in your head to clear it totally of everything else around you. All right? Once you pick the basketball up, you're going to focus on the rim, okay? And in your head, you're going to say sight. So you're going to pick up whatever your target is at that point, front of the rim, center of the rim, back of the rim. And then from that point, momentary pause, and then shoot and hold your follow through. Okay? All right, let's give it a shot. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. All right, once you step in and you receive the ball, it's critical that you get your body such that you feel balanced. You're not leaning to one side or the other. There's no... There's not weight on more foot, one foot more than the other, okay? You want to have yourself centered up to where you're centered on the rim. You've got a balanced feel, all right? Now, when you place the ball on the floor for your two bounces, you want to place it in the front of the rim so everything stays on a straight line. All right. Now, notice that the elbow stays underneath the basketball. The elbow is what keeps the ball straight. So now when you pick it up, Okay, you're going to pick it up in the same place every time. Wrinkles in your wrist to know that the ball is flat in your hand. All right, and then you want to go ahead and you're going to lift the elbow up through the ball and then hold your follow through so that you got good tight, not too tight a rotation, but you still want to have rotation on the ball. Okay, backward rotation. Go ahead, try it again. Notice he's got balance. Everything's in front of the rim and hold the follow through. Okay, nice and soft, okay? Because of the backspin, the ball stayed straight, okay? Stayed straight up and down when it hit the rim, okay? Try going to the back of the rim now instead of the front of the rim. Okay, much better, much better, okay? Staying back behind the line, step in and feel comfortable, all right? Balance, and hold, very good. Our philosophy here at, uh, at the Lovett School is that we feel once we've taught the mechanics of shooting a free throw, that through competition, the athlete should get better, more comfortable. We also talk about the psychological aspect of the free throw in that we want them to step and have the same routine each and every time, no matter where we play, home or away. This is the one shot that should stay exactly the same in every game, every practice. Even when they're practicing alone, they should do it this way. What we do is we step up, ask them to get balanced. Once they're balanced, we only allow two dribbles. We're asking them that when they do dribble, to in their head, talking to themselves, say, bounce, bounce. Our feeling behind this is that it clears ahead of the total situation that they're in. Whether it be, you know, we're up by 50, or 
It's a crucial shot. There's no time on the clock. They hear no noise. They strictly hear themselves talking to themselves, telling themselves bounce, bounce, look at the rim, take a momentary pause, and then take the ball to their target, whether it be the front of the rim, back of the rim, or the center of the rim. And in all fundamentals of shooting, we ask them to hold the follow through because that's where the consistency will come in the shot. Those are some great tips, Coach. We really appreciate it. Hopefully you at home can take those tips and apply it to your child or your team's life and make you a more effective shooter of the free throw. For me, however, I'm a lineman. Linemen like to keep it old school. We'll see you right back here tomorrow on Clubhouse Gas. I made it. Ah! Oh. <laughs>